beta is a value that reflects the sensitivity of a company's share price relative to movement in the overall market. So if a company has a beta of two and the market goes up 5%, the company's stock would be expected to increase by 10% since it is two times as volatile as the market. However, this also cuts on the downside, meaning that a negative 5% move in the market will cause our stock to decrease by 10%. From an interview preparation perspective, I would not stress too much on memorizing the formula for unlevering and relevering beta. However, I do think there is value in understanding the concept. An unlevered beta is the beta for a company without debt. So similar to considering the long-term debt levels for a company's capital structure when calculating WAC, it is also important to think about this same dynamic when utilizing beta. If a company will have a fundamentally different capital structure over the long term than it has today, we need to do something called unlevering and relevering beta. We will take the company's current beta that is based on the existing capital structure, its levered beta, reflected by B sub E in the formula on the left, and use the formula above to calculate an unlevered beta reflected by B sub A. We will then relever beta with our assumed long term capital structure for the company, once again using the equation above and solving for B sub E. Since this relevered beta now reflects our proposed long term capital structure, we'll use this new beta in our capital asset pricing model to calculate the cost of equity.